Hi everybody. Happy Monday. How are all my superheroes doing today? I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I hope that you all made tons of memories with your loved ones and that you were kind to one another. Well, today I'm so excited to talk about the state of Indiana. It's been so fun learning about the different states um, here in the United States. Um, I hope you are all enjoying it as well. Well, Indiana, let's um, explore Indiana a little bit. Indiana is the central United States. This area is called the Midwest. Lake Michigan is lies into the north of Indiana and is one of the five Great Lakes. Indianapolis is the capital of Indiana. It also has, it's the largest city in the state. Fort Wayne and Evansville are other large cities. Now I'm learning as, as you are. Um, I don't know much about the state of Indiana. So we're, but we're learning and I love learning and I hope you do as well. Um, the Wabash River and the Ohio River make up two of Indiana's borders. Much of Indiana's land has rich soil and this makes it good for farming. In the north, the land is mostly rolling hills. In the south, the land has many hills and valleys. Indiana State Tree is the tulip tree, which grows very tall. It's also known as the yellow poplar. The state flower is the peony, and peonies can be white, red, pink, or a mix of these colors. The state bird in Indiana is the cardinal. Male cardinals are often red with black markings and near the eyes. These markings look like a mask and females are often brown and red and they're so beautiful. More than 6 million people live in Indiana and many people work in manufacturing. They make products from iron and steel. These products include cars and cars parts. Farming is also very important in Indiana. Crops include corn and wheat. So let's talk a little bit about their, their history. French explorers came to the area in the 1600s. Wow, that was a long time ago, right? At the time, many Native American tribes lived here. Indiana became a U.S. territory in 1800. Indiana became the 19th state in December 11th of 1816. Now let's talk a, a bit about the ways of life in Indiana. Many people in Indiana enjoy playing and watching sports such as basketball, football, and race cars driving. Some people enjoy outdoors activity as hiking and camping, and Indiana has national parks to visit as well. Visitors can learn about Indiana's history and explore the nature. Some of the fam famous people are over there are James Dean, who was born in Indiana, so was basketball player Larry Bird, and television host David Letterman was born in Indiana as well. That's pretty cool to know, right? Indiana is home to Indianapolis Motor Speedway, which is a big sport over there. The racetrack hosts um, Indianapolis 500, a famous car race, and Indiana is also home to well-known colleges and universities, such as the University of Notre Dame, and Purdue University are they in, in Indiana. So what, what is the symbol of, of, um, of the seal of Indiana? Do you, anybody know? I hope, let's look it up. Tell your mommy and daddy to help you look for it. It's pretty cool. I'll give you a hint. It has many stars around it, okay? Um, I hope you have enjoyed this and that you make lots of memories today and again, happy Monday. And I'm coming back with a little story, um, a little poem, right? So let's hang on for that. Okay, so for today's poem, we have some a, a wonderful one called Nothing to be Grateful for by Patman Ventakraman. Indians drew me, Arabs grew me without me. You have no rockets, no laptops, no phones, zero with me. Game a whole new world. Now, what do you think it means? It means that we are so grateful for everything that we have in our life, right? Because before electronics, we had so much fun. 
So go out there with your parents, play in the dirt or play in the playgrounds, whatever you like to do. Okay. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. See you later, everybody. Bye.